Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to do a bone ravage from Fortnite. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now first of all, I'm gonna draw her headpiece in the middle of her forehead, and I'm gonna draw a V-shape for the tip in the middle of her face right there. Diagonal turn to the right, semicircle turn back upwards, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side. Above that, I'm gonna draw a line across, turn it diagonally down on both sides, and I'm gonna copy that same set of line again, slightly above that, and another one at this upper point. At the ending point at the side, I'm gonna draw a line downwards on both the left and right. Above that shape, I'm gonna continue the line upwards on both sides. And above that, I'm gonna draw another line across, turn it diagonally down on both sides again, copy the same set of line at this upper point, and another one right there. A line downwards on both ending points at the side. Continue the line in the middle upwards on both sides and a line across at this upper corner. Turn it diagonally down with a curved line on both sides. Now from the V-shape at the tip, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line outwards to the right, turn it outwards to the right and sideways. Turn it upwards, sideways to the left, upwards, sideways to the right, upwards and repeat the same shape again at that upper corner and sideways to the middle point. Inside of that shape at the side I'm gonna draw a line upwards at that corner. Diagonal turn downwards on both ending point at the upper corner and the lower corner and a line diagonally up at the outer point right there. On the left side I'm gonna copy the same shape right there. Now at the side of the headpiece, I'm gonna draw a curved line diagonally upwards from the middle point. Same so turn back downwards at the outer corner. Turn it upwards at the side right there. And at that corner, I'm gonna draw... And above that, I'm gonna draw a strap with a curved line diagonally up to the middle point. And another similar curved line at this upper corner. A line down at the side. Continue the line of the head above that strap and another strap at that corner with a similar shape. Continue the line of the head upwards and turn it inwards to the middle point. I'm gonna copy the same shape on the left side right here and a triangle niche at this corner and copy the rest of the shape on the left side. Now from this side, I'm gonna make a semicircle turn inwards at this lower point, diagonal turn in, semicircle turn upwards to the V-shape in the middle of her face. I'm gonna mirror the same shape again on the right side. Now below that shape, I'm gonna draw the shape of her face with a curved line diagonally downwards. Turn it inwards to her chin. Semicircle turn at the chin. And I'm gonna copy the same shape of her face on the right side right here. Inside of that, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line across from the left at this upper point to the right at this lower point. Along that line, I'm gonna draw some short lines right there. Now for her eye shape, I'm gonna take this point off center and draw a curved line across. Turn it diagonally up to the outer corner, turn it back downwards at the side. From the inner corner, I'm gonna draw a curved line 
diagonally out and downwards to the right and same as the turn upwards to the outer corner of the eye. Copy the same shape of the eye on the left side here. Now for the feathers above her head, I'm going to draw in the middle point of center, a curve line upwards on the left. Turn it slightly inwards as we go to the tip above. A, a triangle niche at the side. Continue the curve line upwards and the, to the middle point. Turn it back downwards and mirror the same shape on the right side right there. And I'm going to add another triangle niche at this lower point right there. In the middle of that feather, I'm going to draw a line upwards. I'm going to copy the same shape of this feather on the right and left side. right there. Now below her head at the side I'm gonna draw her neck with a curve line downwards right there and below that I'm gonna draw a curve line across at the side turn it downwards diagonally to the middle point. From the side of her face I'm gonna draw another curve line out semi circle turn downwards at that corner and diagonal line inwards and down Copy the same shape of that color on the right side right here. For the strap below her collar, I'm going to draw a line across, turn it downwards on both sides, and extend it downwards on the left corner. Turn it sideways back to the right at this lower point, and turn it upwards. Inside of that, I'm going to draw a line across at this upper corner and lower corner. On the left side, in the middle, I'm going to draw a small rectangular shape right there. And above that rectangular shape, I'm going to draw a line upwards. And below that, a line downwards. On the left side of the buckle, I'm going to extend that curve line across slightly to the right. And turn it downwards at the ending point on the right. Above that ending point, at the inner corner, I'm going to draw a circular line at this upper point. Extend it slightly downwards. On the right side, turn it diagonally out to the right and sharp turn inwards diagonally to the left. Mirror the same shape of that circular line at this lower point. And inside of that strap, I'm going to draw in the middle point a diagonal line to the right. Turn it back to the left at this lower point. On the left side of the buckle, I'm going to draw a line across and another one at this lower point. A line down at the ending point on the left right there and I'm gonna copy the same shape as the ending point on the right on the left right here now at the side of the color on the left I'm gonna draw a curve line outwards right there and a line downwards for the strap at the side of her outfit and another one at this outer corner a line downwards below that to the other side of the strap and a line across for the upper point. In the middle of that strap, I'm gonna draw two lines across, and above that, at the side, I'm gonna draw a line upwards at the edge on both the left and right, a circular line at the ending point above, right there. Inside of that, I'm gonna draw a circular shape right there. Mirror that same set of shape at this lower point again, and on the left side of that strap, I'm gonna draw her shoulder with a curve line out, turn it diagonally out and downwards, sharp turn back inwards, sharp turn back out and down, and sharp turn back inwards. Zigzag line at that corner, and curve line across to the right, turn it downwards, and sharp turn back to the right. Above, inside of that, I'm gonna draw an oval shape at that corner. And I'm going to copy the same shape of the strap and the shoulder on the right side. Below the strap at the side, I'm going to draw her waist on the right with a curve line downwards and slightly inwards. 
turn it back outwards below the waistline and I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side right here and at that corner I'm gonna draw a curve line across turn it diagonally in and downwards on both the left and right curve line across below that and another one slightly below at the ending point at the side I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards on both the left and right below that I'm gonna draw a circular shape turn it inwards to the right and turn it back upwards on the right side on the right side of that I'm gonna draw her belt with a curve line across to the right and on the right corner right there same as you could turn downwards and at that point I'm gonna draw two rectangular shape like that in between the two rectangular shape a line downwards and I'm gonna mirror the same shape of the upper part of the belt at this lower point inside of the belt on the left corner in the middle I'm gonna draw two lines downwards and inside of that I'm gonna draw a circle at this upper point and another one on the lower point on the left side of that a curve line diagonally downwards to the middle point and sharp turn back inwards with a similar diagonal line at the lower point for the buckle on the right side of the belt I'm gonna draw a line upwards at this inner corner turn it sideways to the right semicircle turn diagonally downwards to the middle point and mirror the whole shape at this lower point continue the line of the belt to the right side of the waist on both the upper point and the lower point and align downwards at the ending point on the right for the pattern of her tops I'm gonna draw from the side of the strap a curve line across turn it downwards right there turn it back upwards in the middle point same as you could turn across and I'm gonna mirror the same shape of the outfit on the right side above that in the middle of the strap I'm gonna draw a line across right there the triangle niche at that corner continue that line across to the right below that on the left corner I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line to the right at this lower point and another one at this lower point right there above that strap on the right I'm gonna draw a diagonal line upwards and along that line I'm gonna draw some short lines across right there and on the left side of that diagonal line I'm gonna draw a line across to the left right there and along that line I'm gonna draw some short line downwards above her tummy I'm gonna draw another strap across right there and another similar curve line at this lower point now on the left side I'm gonna draw a buckle with an arch curve line and at the side of that another curve line out turn it inwards mirror the same shape at this lower point and I'm gonna draw a similar curve line on the left side of the buckle right here continue the line of the strap on the left side of that buckle right there below that strap I'm gonna draw a diagonal strap from the middle point and to the left copy the same line again on the right side right here and below that I'm gonna draw a horizontal curve line across and another one below that copy the same shape of the buckle on the left side right here and another one on the right side behind the strap I'm gonna draw three lines downwards one in the middle and another one on both sides on the left and right now below the belt at the side I'm gonna draw some feathers with curve line diagonally out and down some triangle niche along the way to the tip of the feather right there sharp turn back up on the right side and similarly I'm gonna draw some triangle niche 
at the sides. Align downwards in the middle point of the feather. I'm going to copy that same shape of feather on the right side right here and another one at that point. I'm going to copy the same shape on the right side as well. Now below the feather at the side, I'm going to do a line downwards. Flare it slightly out at this lower point and turn it downwards. Curve it slightly inwards at this lower point and sharp turn back upwards on the right side. Turn it downwards and sharp turn back upwards. Diagonal turn to the right and align downwards on the right side of that. Sharp turn back upwards. Sharp turn back downwards and sharp turn back up. Same as you could turn diagonally to the right and turn it downwards. Sharp turn back upwards right there and turn it diagonally down and sharp turn back upwards to the belt. Inside of that shape, I'm gonna do another line downwards on the left right there. Wavy line downwards at that corner. Sharp turn back upwards, sharp turn back downwards and turn it to the left with a diagonal curve line. On the right side, I'm going to draw uh, another curve line downwards. Extend it all the way to the tip below. Curl it out at this point. Sharp turn back inwards. And curve line downwards and out. Sharp turn back up on the left side. And sharp turn back downwards at that corner. And sharp turn back to the left diagonally. Below the buckle on the right, I'm gonna draw a curve line diagonally out, sharp turn up, diagonal turn back out, and turn it downwards. Sideways to the right, curve line diagonally down, and turn it sideways to the outer corner. Above that line, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line upwards to the feather. In the middle point below the belt, I'm gonna draw a line downwards zigzag line diagonally to the left and sharp turn upwards on the left side. Inside of that shape, I'm going to draw an oval shape at that corner. And on the right side, I'm going to draw a similar shape right there. And in the middle point below, I'm going to draw a line across. Curve line downwards to the left below that. A curve line across for the strap on the left thigh and another one below that. A line downwards at the ending point on the right. Continue the line of the legs downwards. Curve line diagonally down and to the right from the inner corner. And continue the line of the legs downwards and slightly inwards to the knee point. And for the knee pad right there, I'm gonna do a curve line across. Turn it downwards and flare it out at this middle point and back inwards at that corner. In the middle of the knee pad, off center, I'm going to draw a line downwards. Same as if turn outwards at this lower point. Turn it downwards. Below that, a curve line across right there and turn it downwards on both sides and inwards towards her ankle point. A curve line across at that lower point right there and inside of that I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at this lower point and a line across in the middle. Above that I'm gonna draw another bigger rectangular shape with diagonal lines at the sides and bigger at the upper point. Inside of that, I'm going to draw a line across at this upper point. Below her knee point at the side, I'm going to draw a line upwards, sideways to the right, 
and turn it downwards. Above that, a curved line at that corner. And inside of the knee pad, I'm going to draw on the right a uh, semicircle line downwards. And on the left side of that, a line across at the middle point and another one at this lower point. Now below the lower leg pad, I'm going to continue the line of her legs downwards on both sides and flare it slightly out below the ankle point. In the middle point, a line across and diagonal turn downwards on both sides. Copy the same set of line again at this lower point and another one slightly below that. A line downwards on both the left and right. Below the shape, I'm going to continue the line at the side downwards, semicircle turn at the sides. Curve line across in the middle point, and inside of that, I'm going to draw an arch curve line right there. And above that, I'm going to draw another arch curve line with upside down V shape in the middle point. For the right side of the leg, I'm going to draw a curve line diagonally down from the middle point. A strap at that corner with a curve line diagonally across and another one below that. A line downwards at the ending point at this inner corner and continue the line of the legs downwards. Another strap across at this point right there and below that I'm gonna draw from the inner corner a diagonal curve line to the right turn it upwards same as a good turn downwards on the right and mirror the same curve line on the right side. Turn it downwards with a curve line at the inner corner and the outer corner. Above that, above that, I'm gonna draw a curve line at this inner corner and at the outer corner right there. Continue the line of the legs downwards and inwards at the knee. Turn it back outwards below the knee and inwards back towards her ankle point. On the right side, I'm going to draw an upside down V shape right there. Turn it downwards at the outer corner and slightly inwards. Turn it downwards for the inner corner. Same as you could turn back out to the left and turn it downwards. Below that, I'm going to draw a curve line across to the right right there. And from the side, I'm going to turn it downwards. and slightly inwards to her ankle point. Curve line across at that point below and inside of that shape I'm gonna draw a small rectangular shape at this lower point and a line across in the middle and above that I'm gonna draw a diagonal line at this left corner sideways at this lower point and at the upper point right there. Inside of that I'm gonna draw a line across at this upper point. Now for her knee pad, I'm going to draw a semicircle line at the side above, at the side of her knee. Turn it slightly inwards at this upper point. Curve line downwards across to the right and turn it upwards. Sharp turn back down on the right side. Inside of that, I'm going to draw a circular shape right there on the right corner. Curve line across in the middle point above and another one at this lower point. Below the knee pad at the side, I'm gonna draw a curve line to the left and another one at this lower point right there. Continue the line of her legs downwards and flare it slightly out below the ankle point. And at the back here, turn it downwards, sideways to the right and for the front part, the line across, turn it diagonally down at the inner corner on the left, copy the same set of line again at this lower point and slightly below that. A line diagonally down on both ending points at the sides. Continue the line of the foot diagonally down and to the right, turn it sideways to the right. Same as you could turn at the tip of the foot right there, curve line across to the left and curve line upwards diagonally. At that corner, a line downwards. An arch curve line at the front tip of the shoe right there. 
and on the right side of that another one with an upside down V shape in the middle point. At the side of the shoe a curve line upwards right there. For the cape on the right side I'm gonna extend the line upwards right there to the side of her lower leg pad. Now for her arms I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line downwards from the shoulder right there and I'm gonna copy the same line again at this inner corner on the right. Now for the strap on her gauntlet I'm gonna draw across a curve line right there. Sharp turn back to the left at this lower point and on the left side of that I'm gonna draw a semicircle line across to the outer corner and another one at this upper point. A line downwards for the outer corner of that strap. Copy the same shape of the strap again on the right corner right here and above the first strap I'm gonna draw the top part of her gauntlet with a similar semicircle line across turn it diagonally inwards to the right all the way to her wrist I'm gonna do the same thing for the inner line right there curve line across at the wrist curve line sideways at the side of her thumb to the waist right there and another one for the outer line of the hand above the hand I'm gonna draw a curve line across and another one on the right side in between the two lines I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at that corner and another one inside of that on her elbow point I'm gonna draw some feathers coming out from the top of her gauntlet and it's gonna be the similar shape as the feathers on her belt now for her wings at the back I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line up from the shoulders and above that a curve line across turn it upwards on both ending points copy the same shape again and slightly bigger above that and another one right there and slightly bigger extend that outer line upwards diagonally to the right semi circle turn at the upper corner right there to the right sharp turn back diagonally down to the right and extend that inner line upwards to that point from the outer corner below I'm gonna draw the side of her wing with a curve line diagonally down towards her arms right there extended below the lower arms curl it outwards below the waist right there sharp turn back inwards with a curved diagonal line sharp turn back downwards and sharp turn back up continue that line upwards beyond the arms right there sharp turn back diagonally down and sharp turn back up with a curved line I'm gonna copy the same shape of the arms and the wings on the right side For the skull trooper pattern on her outfit, for her face I'm gonna draw from the left cheek a diagonal curve line to the middle point, semi circle turn downwards and I'm gonna draw a V shape across to the right, mirror the same curve line on the right side right there. Now for the ribs pattern in the middle point I'm gonna draw a curve line across, turn it downwards at the side, curve line across to the right turn it upwards sharp turn back to the middle point at this lower point turn it downwards sideways to the right and another similar curve line at this lower point turn it downwards in the middle and curve line across to the right sharp turn back inwards across all the way to the left side mirror the same shape again on the left side right here
below that in the middle point I'm gonna draw two rectangular shape above the buckle and another one at the side of the buckle right there at the side of the first rectangular shape I'm gonna draw the rib bone with a line downwards curve line across at the side of that on both the upper point and the lower point I'm gonna do the same thing for the left side right here now below her hips on the right I'm gonna draw a line across semi circle turn on both ending points at the side turn it downwards semi circle turn back to the middle point at this lower point Turn it diagonally to the knee point on both the left and right. Flare it out on both sides. Same as you could turn downwards and across to the middle point. Turn it upwards in the middle point and mirror the same shape on the right side right there. Below the knee point, I'm gonna draw a line of center downwards, sideways to the left and Turn it back upwards with a diagonal curve line. Same as you could turn on the left corner across to the right and same as you could turn back downwards. Mirror the same shape again on the outer corner on the right right here. Now on her foot in the middle point of center, I'm gonna draw two diagonal curve lines all the way to the tip at the front. Sharp turn back diagonally up on both sides curve line across at the upper point of that shape. I'm gonna copy the same bone pattern on the left side of the leg. And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.